Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing another gaming type video. I kind of covered this a little bit with the uh, Resident Evil 3 video, but I think that Glorious Egg Roll kind of deserves a video of its own, just to because it's so universal, like you can use it for so many games. So we're going to get started with installing that. It's a custom Proton version into Steam, and it helps with a lot of games. And recently, they decided to incorporate the Media Foundation uh, stuff in there. So we're going to grab that, and I'm going to show you how to install it and everything. Search the duck for Glorious Egg Roll, and go to the GitHub. And this actually brought me to the releases, so that's nice. So the latest release is... Oh wow, just three days ago. Oh nice, he backported it to 5.9 for for older games that need e-sync and f-sync. So that's something to look at. You really have to read the uh, release notes because sometimes this kind of thing can happen and maybe you don't want the latest release. Maybe you want... 5.11 with the Media Foundation. And for a lot of the games that we're going to be playing, like the newer ones, this is what you're going to want. So expand assets and download the Media Foundation 5.11. Yeah, so the Proton 5MF branch will continue to be the upstream Git branch with major game fixes being backported to the stable branch, hopefully. <laughs> so stick with the five branch for most of your needs. If you're trying to run a game that that needs the older 5.9 with eSync and everything, go ahead and do that one. If you actually go to the readme, which is always nice to do, he's created this whole guide to using it that kind of thing and what what it fixes um final fantasy 14 15 all of these games specifically and it tells you how to install it and everything but we're going to go over that eh, it's taken a little while to download here all right and through the miracle of time is the barbecue bit boys barbecue pit boys say it's done so what you're gonna do is open that and extract it wherever you'd like you can extract it to the actual place we're gonna go to or you can just extract it here copy paste here I'm gonna copy it and we're gonna go to Home dot steam root compatibility tools dot d and I've already got stuff in here but I don't have this latest GE three. Paste that in there. That looks all good. Now we get rid of that. And actually, let's get rid of this too, and we'll go to Steam. All right, summer deals. Summer deals are good. Go to your library, and whichever game, like Monster Hunter World is one that just kind of runs out of the box with it, all you have to do is go to Properties and force it to use... Let's try running it with the GE3. It'll just show up in that little menu there. This will probably actually go to my other monitor since it's the main monitor. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, no. Goes to this one. And there it is. Took it a little second there. All right, and we are in Monster Hunter World. The sound and everything. I don't know if you can hear the sound. I think I have it set up for that, but whatever. Anyway, that's kind of all I wanted to go through. That works for many, many games that you can see. Specifically, I think the ones that he posts on the GitHub are ones that he's specifically working it for. And other things that it works for is just kind of a bonus. Anyway, I appreciate you watching, and I hope this helped you out. I'm going to try to do more stuff like this. I don't really upload that often. I have a full-time job. I work in networking. keeps me nice and busy. And also, I manage a bunch of Windows servers, which is so, so, so time-consuming. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you guys all have a good day. Bye.